Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the KSR YouTube channel, where we are thrashing for a sick week to get Soccer Mom ready. And in our last video, the car's pretty much ready to go, right? Yeah, like fuel system's done, engine's installed, runs, everything's great, makes great oil pressure. But uh, this box showed up last night. And uh, in that box is a new Texas Speed 388. We sent back the parts that were salvageable from our engine from uh, last year. And this one's got some upgrades that we'll talk about in a little bit. But uh, yeah, we've got a, it's Friday before sick week. We're supposed to be leaving Saturday afternoon. So we've got to get that installed as well as get the, uh, finish the modifications to the intake manifold that I started on the other night, haven't finished yet because everything else has been happening. We've got plenty of time, plenty of time. But anyways, me and some of the boys are gonna get on this thing. Will and Kimber will be over here after they get off of their regular jobs. And uh, we'll see if we can get what's in the box in the car. And yeah, I didn't wanna pull this out until that was here because if we had taken that out, who knows what would have happened to this engine, the new engine. All right, let's get to work. All righty, let's get this thing opened up and look at our new fresh bullet. Huge shout out to the guys at Texas Speed for uh, getting this thing over here because we had some issues with parts. Oh, we got oil. So yeah, we had some issues, you know, it's hard to get, uh, kind of hard to get some parts. And there was an issue with getting pistons issues with getting a crankshaft but the guys made it happen and got it here just in time for us to get it installed i'm not sure what's in that box i have to get this thing open i'm going to keep the box all together cut this off and then see if we can lift this up out of here and then get the box out from underneath it so we will switch over to a time lapse because we got a little bit of boring stuff to do so all right let's see what i can make happen Well, got that out, just put a bag over it for the time being. And uh, it definitely has some upgrades in the bottom end that we'll show you in a little bit, because I may have to actually put it on that engine stand and roll it over, because I decided to go ahead and order another oil pan so that we don't have to swap it between engines. Hopefully it gets here before we're ready to put that in here, because this will probably take between an hour and two hours to get it out. I think once CJ gets a little more done over there, he's gonna jump over on this and help me. But uh, yeah, about time to get to thrashing on this. Let's see, we're a quarter to 10. Let's see how far we can get before lunch. Hopefully the engines, this engine will be out before lunch and we will be uh, preparing the other engine. Let's see how far we can get.
all right well 10 to 10 to 12 and we're on we're hooked up everything should be loose and it should be ready to come out i've got to run in the office and get yesterday's or friday's video posted so yeah we're ready but not quite so i'll get back on this after i do that probably grab some lunch and then hopefully my oil pan shows up with ups so that i can start putting that on the new engine we do have to weld uh, the turbo drain fitting to the front of the, the timing cover on the texas speed engine we also have to weld a temperature bung into the new oil pan when it gets here so i've got to do that and then pull one out swap the valve covers or put the valve covers over there got to find some valve covers to put back on this one yeah and then start bolting everything back together see if we can get this thing buttoned up before i have to go home tonight with my kids so i gotta go pick up kids from school at like 2 30 and then uh we'll be back hanging out here until i get it done back in a minute All right, well, let's show you guys what we got going on in the bottom end of our new Texas Speed 388. And um, you might notice right off the bat that these babies are aluminum. So like I mentioned earlier, this engine's got some upgrades over our last one. You can see a coated diamond piston down in there. It's got the hard anodized coating on it. And uh, there's quite a bit more beefiness underneath the top of the piston which we're excited about there this engine is 11 to 1 on the compression ratio so a little bit higher than the last one and we also have a cali's magnum crankshaft instead of a stock uh 5.3 liter lt crankshaft which if you think about what that engine put up with to go 193 plus miles an hour at 3250 3275 pounds there's some calculators on the old interwebs that say that's 1,700-ish horsepower. So 1,700 horsepower through a stock GM crankshaft. 
And that's not the part that broke. Anyways, this unit here ought to be good for some more horsepowers. So, Will's made it here. He's pulling the ATI balancer off of that engine, which we've got a, that is one piece. We are robbing from that engine, but Ricky's welding on a bung to the new front cover. And while this is upside down, I'm gonna squirt some assembly lube into the oil pump so it gets some some uh, gel, like, you know, real thick, um, like assembly lube. So it helps create a suction inside the oil pump and makes it prime with oil really quick. It's one of my little tricks I like to do, if I, especially if I know I'm gonna be cranking the engine real soon. So we did check, make sure we've got like the crankshaft sensor is awful close. So we're getting down to it. And I thought we might have some visitors here on their way down from the Great White North headed to Sick Week. But we'll see if they make it here by the end of the video. And uh, obviously too, we had to do some modification to the windage tray. Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking and get back to work. Cause I wanna have this engine in that engine bay before I head home tonight. Yeah, and then we'll hopefully finish up the other stuff we got going and uh, maybe we'll crank it tonight with that intake on it, but I have another intake that I wanna run on this, this engine. So, back to work. All right, well, Soccer Mom's engine, new Texas Speed 388 is ready to go inside. And uh, we've had an invasion from the Great White North back here in the back. Oh, no. Surprise, you're on camera. Hey! What's going on? Got the baddest Pontiac in the land. Furthest from the land, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if anybody from my channel saw, but it was negative 41 degrees at your place the other day. Yeah, yeah. 43, and, actually. And oil wouldn't flow out of the jugs and... No. Yeah, I have a garage. I mean, I didn't do anything outside with the car, but I thought it'd be a cool test to see what 2050 yeah, would be. It, you left it. it it's didn't not good. flow. Yep. Actually, 530 was like not good either after 24 hours. Wow. 020, which is pretty much water. It wasn't too bad. But... So drove this beast all the way down from Canada. How many miles? 3,000. Oof. 3,000 and we left in Blasco's. It was probably like six, eight inches of snow. <laughs> Shoosh. It's got snow tires and mud flaps, so, you know, it's good to go. Yeah, and didn't trailer this thing. Drove it. Yeah, you can tell by looking at the... You know your, your ECU's on? Uh, yeah, that screen's always on. Okay. Yeah. I'm like... It's, it's mega squirt, you know. Oh, okay. Cool. Just MS, just MS droid. Uh... Cool. Yeah, you so, want to yeah. turn that off, it might not turn back on. Come on. Pon Pontiac V8. Single turbo? I was thinking this thing was twin turbo for some reason. No, it's a single. It's okay. just a 94, 94 120. Okay. <laughs> just a 94 120. That's yeah. basically well, the same we got on ours. 94. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know the exhaust housing. <laughs> This but, is, uh, but it's 521 cubes. So it's, gotcha. It's a, little a little bigger than our 388, but. So maybe I need another one of those. Stick shift. Stick shift, hugging, tugging a trailer all the way down here. Rich brings everything with him, including his dad. <laughs> <laughs> and then Kobe came down too, and uh, he was from another six hours north of where Rich is, and they rode down together. You know, it's always good to have a buddy when you're when you're trailering down the road, but uh, they're gonna be participating in Sick Week and Rich has done a bunch of these events. Yeah, there you go. Miles of Mayhem. All these different, all these different events. Yeah. Looks like you're, you're going right together? Uh, I did one side. I'll call you back, Matt. <laughs> 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 He's not here, he should be yeah, here. Oh, there you go. Just hang up on his um, ass. Oh, I like the little filtery thing. That's cool. Yeah, you can just pop oh. it out real easy. And... Cool. Um, that side's done, so I took everything off, checked the lash, and uh, retorked the heads. I'm going to do the same on this. It's not too bad. Cool. The joys of sick week and mm -hmm. dragon drives. And solid lifters. Yeah. <laughs> You've had really good luck with your lifters, though, right? Like, yeah. Like, and for a solid to put that kind of miles on, I and mean, people think, you know, oh, you got to adjust your solid stuff every day. Eh, I'm about every day. Typically, if I'm adjusting it, something's going on, so I'll check them. 
Yeah. So is there a couple what, foul? That's kind of how I did with Garrett. It's just, all right, that's, yep, they're still yeah. pretty close. So, although we were, we were zero lashing his for the street drives. Right. That's what Steve wanted us to do, so. Yeah, I, I cold, I lash him like three thou. Okay. So they're, they're pretty tight. And I just checked the other side, they're at eight thou, you know, after still kind of warm a little bit. Yeah. She's um, still got a core temperature in her. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Well, I'm going to go get back to putting mine together. Yeah. Cause it's close. Did you drop it in yet? Or? It's heading in right now. Like awesome. it's on the hook, beginning ready to go in. All right. And then we got to decide which intake we're going to run. So we'll get back to work. The bigger one. And we don't even know which one that is. <laughs> You talking yeah. crap about What are we talking you? about? Talking what? crap about you. Kind of figured. All right, time for us to get to work and drop this thing in. All right, well, it ended up being a little later than what we were thinking, but we made some pretty good progress. And of course, we were hanging out with our Canadian buddies. And uh, actually, Rovic showed up with his Oldsmobile. So, you know, we had to go hang out with all those guys. But we're down to basically alternator, coolant lines, and an intake manifold. And plug in the last of the electronics in. Uh, we do have to top dead center the engine. Not that we have to, but we're going to. And you should too, if you are doing anything with an LS. Mark your top dead center so that you can check that your timing in your ECU actually matches your ignition timing physically on the balancer. So we're gonna handle that tomorrow, and then I'm gonna try and finish this intake manifold. Um, maybe I've gotten I filmed some of that work, uh, you know, time lapsing it, but as late as we are in the game, I might show a little clip of it here of me doing some machining while I'm talking about this right now instead of you seeing my hands waving around in front of the camera. But um, yeah, she's, uh, we want to get the Texas Speed intake on there just so it's kind of their whole package. And we're pretty excited about this, this new engine. Will and I both, I mean, Definitely substantially better than any engine we've ever had before with the uh, Cali's Magnum crank, the MGP aluminum rods, and the hard anodized coated diamond pistons. So yeah, we're excited to get this thing all together and see what it does. Hopefully roll it on the dyno tomorrow afternoon and then load it in the trailer and head to Sigweet. Which if this video should be coming out on Sunday and we should already be at Sigweet, but I guess we'll see but I'm gonna go home and go to bed and then next clip will be tomorrow. All right, well, like I said, back the next morning. 
different change of clothes. New outlook on life, and we're gonna get this thing up and running today, right, Will? Yes, sir. So Will got Will got here before I did. Got the fuel pump on. Got the engine top dead centered. Got the alternator on. Got the pulleys on. Put oil in it. So he's gonna be working on getting that all wrapped up while I'm over here doing sketchy stuff on the mill. And I don't know if I put the other clip in because I haven't finished editing this video yet. But you can see we've got the these four runners machine, they still need to be finished welded. But this is what we've got going on for machining the holes for the other four bungs. And then we're gonna try and get this intake on. We may crank it up and run it with the Holly intake with all that stuff, cause that'll take 15 minutes to put on, but we really wanna run the Texas Speed intake, like I said. I do have to weld these holes up and then mill this pad off. So that's a little bit more work I've got to do as well as fabricate stands and weld them on for once we get the rails on. But I'm going to shut up and get to work so we can actually get this thing done. Yep. Well, second set of injector rails installed. And like anything race car, it always takes longer than you think it's gonna. But she's on there. Hopefully we don't run into any other problems. I think we'll probably have to make a new charge pipe because I think the heights are different between the Texas Speed intake and the Holly intake. I hope they're not because that would be awesome if they just lined all up and the charge pipe goes on and then we can get this thing all back together. 
What? Yep, yeah, we got the, kind of did a, let's see where we got a little set there and there. They're tight, but they are in there. So, let's get this thing set on there and see if we can get it fired up. All righty, she's all installed. And uh, we did the prime it on the starter trick. Ready to uh, see if it runs. Everybody ready to look for leaks? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Start the data logger. Data log going. Oops, okay. Fire in the hole. Back there, tried to the coolest crossover. All right, got a little leak to fix, but cranked up. Woo! <laughs> 